Can you feel it? It's almost time. It's what we've been waiting for days now. Welcome to another episode of the Out the Blocks podcast on our Sportsmax platforms. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our content. I'm Nate Levy and with me is the great singer and track and field enthusiast, D Major. And today we're making our predictions. Of course, um, if you're on the Sportsmax website, you would have already heard the news that Sherika Jackson has withdrawn from the 100 meters to be replaced by Sasha Lee Forbes. That's where we will begin today and then move headlong into our predictions. Big news this morning, boss. Oh, man, so ready. I'm so ready for the track and field to kick off late, I'm so ready right now. Um, not surprised at what we heard. You know, um, I think it's in our best interest as well. I don't think six rounds at this point, you know, risking injury again is, 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 is very wise. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we've been hearing things for weeks, huh? Yes, since, yes. Since Hungary, we've been hearing things about... Mm -hmm. You know whether or not she was recovering well or whether or not she was training well we heard conflicting reports yeah. about how well she was training or not mm -hmm. so this was kind of a surprise in the sense that no we know exactly what what the situation exactly. is exactly and, and, and regardless of what we're hearing Leighton, it, it, it's, it's i think it's still risky because mm -hmm. you're going to have to be running six rounds if you ask her to do the hundred yeah at high intensity you know so i, I think it's our best interest let's tackle the 200 I think she served us best there. Yeah, and of course she said, you know, at the the, the media session today that yeah. um, she's content with the decision. Yes, yes. And if she's content with the decision, I think it's the best decision for the country because Indeed. the reality is, if she's not ready to run both 100 and the 200, she actually does herself and the country a disservice. Yes. You know, so the reality is that you know we wish her all the best in that regard, and mm. um, so we'll go to our straight to our picks, boss. Because full support. Predictions time, eh? Predictions time. Oh Predictions gosh. time. Yes. Live, live, live thing. Let's All go. Right, let's start with the women's hundred. Um, that's where Sharika ah, we're is. We're starting hot. We're starting hot. All right. For me, the women's hundred. Uh, let me start with third place. I have Tia Clayton. Tia Clayton, Shelley, and Fraser Price. I'm going to take the liberty of, of, of I can't leave out Shelley. So Tia, you know, Tia Clayton or Shelley and um you know, battling for that third place. Tia mm -hmm. being being the, the one to step up now, you know. Uh, second place, I have Julian Alfred. You know, I do think Shakari Richardson is in position, pole position to, you know, um, become the Olympic champion. She has the world lead time, you know, 1071. And she, she looks sharp. She looks good. So I expect her to, to deliver and, 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 and win this event. Yeah, well, for me, I am going to go, of course, like you. I think we have similar mm -hmm. picks in that regard. Mm -hmm. I think now that Sherika is not in the mix, mm -hmm. I think Tia Clayton is the likely candidate. And the reason yeah. why I say likely candidate is because mm -hmm. I don't think Shelly is at where she wants to be right. in a field that's going to require her to run Definitely. from the 10-6 or 10-7 load to be on the a podium. A hot one. A you hot know, one. When you saw her at the national championships, 10-91 was her best time. And, you know, she didn't look like Shelly, the Shelly we know. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can't, I don't see her in the medals at all. However, Leighton, if they leave the door open. No, oh, yeah. If no. they leave, the, if door they leave the door open, Shelly's going to push her way she through. She will, she will. But in an era, I know we're looking at a 19-year-old who is, according to Stephen Francis, he's ready. Yes. And he said she didn't run the way she should have run at the national championships, where yeah. she should have been in 10 7 she, if she ran 10 86. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm going with her for, for, for the bronze medal. I think, I like you, I think Julian Alfred has shown me this year. Mm -hmm. that she's ready to run really fast. Most definitely. Um, 10 to 5 on heavy legs in that last mm. race before tells me that she's ready to run a lot faster. Right. But I just don't see anybody beating Shakari. I mean, no. Shakari, 10 71 and 10 65 last year coming into this season. Likewise. She hasn't run as much as she mm -hmm. did last season, but certainly with the extra time she's had between the U.S. trials and now, I'm looking at 10.65 or something similar to what she ran last year. Without a doubt. No, I'd so be crazy to argue with that. But I'm going to add one caveat here. Mm -hmm. I think if Julian Alfred gets the start that she wants, she wins it. And I'm saying that without any reservation. Yes, that yes, if yes. Anybody to be Chakari Richardson is going to be Julian Alfred. Reasonable. Reasonable, Reasonable. Um, point, Leighton, because... The 1071 was still was with mistakes, mm. and in a, in the, fir the previous two rounds, Shakari made mistakes, and she tends to make mistakes. Um, probably one of her best ex executed races was last year, um, the World Championship final. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So this time around, she she, she can't afford to make any mistakes because, as as I agree with you, with Julian Alfred, she's she's right there to take it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's jump to the men, cause that's the hot top hot button issue for the. For the, for the Olympics All right, so far. Let, let me start. Let me start with yep. the bronze medal again. 
Brands Miller is, is the man who, you know, talks a lot. You know, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's favorite person. However, I, I, I respect him as a competitor. You know, I think he's going to come and, 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 and execute in the finals when it, when it matters most. However, does Noah Lyles' execution get him at the top of the podium? I don't think so this time around. So I think Noah will, will, will end up with bronze. You know, and, and, and the silver medalist uh, is, is someone, uh, I think, who can win it all. I think this person can win it all, Leighton, if, if, if he executes, if he shows up on the day and feels, you know, right and executes in the final. My silver medal pick is Oblique Seville. And um, come on, I mean, the gold medalist has to be Kishane Thompson, you know, a man who has shown a whole heap of potential this year, you know, who, and, and also who his coach is. You know, you can't go against you, you know, Kishane and his team. So Kishane looks ready and poised to win the gold medal, and, and I have him for my pick. You yes. Know, yeah. So we have the similar pick. So let, let me just add this, though, because uh -huh. since we're sure picks, I won't even go over those points. Yeah. But <coughs> the reason why I think Kishane is such an outstanding prospect for gold mm. is that it's something that Stephen Francis said yesterday, and I, I agree with him because I checked it back. Yeah. The series that he ran at the national championships. Right. 82, <laughs> 84, 77 yeah. is better than the Bolt in, tw in 2008 and 2009, you know, except for the world record. I think we had a, we had a conversation once, and I, and I mentioned yeah. that to you. But that wasn't the most profound part of Stephen Francis' interview for me. The most profound part was, was, was when he, s he, he mentioned, some the, the, the person interviewing him said something, and, and it triggered him to go on and say, everyone is talking about experience and this and that. However, it's all about speed. Now, Stephen Francis coming forward and saying that, it, it, it held so much weight to me that whatever he's seen in training tells him he knows. I mean, come on, Stephen Francis' track record. He yeah. knows that this, this, this and, man and is and ready. And you know, you know I mean, you, we've seen Kishian shut down around 977. Indeed. We've <laughs> seen him try to jog 984. We've seen him try to jog 982. Yeah. He has natural speed, and, and we, you've seen him in training like me. Yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah, him yeah. storm through 60 meters and can't stop. Mm. That speed, I don't think, is anything that no less will have ever experienced before. No, no, no. So I, no. Think, I think picking him for, for the win for me, Indeed. unless something weird happens, mm -hmm. Kishian wins that 100. And I think he, if, it's, if, it's, if he runs the way he's, we, we know he can run, mm -hmm. he's not going to be close. Right. And I think the only person who, can, who, gonna be, who could possibly be close to him is Oblique Seville. Which, which again, Definitely. Uh, we're reflecting those points. Definitely. You know, so let's look at the 200 meter women. 200 meter women. Okay, so I have Sharika Jackson coming third. You know, for, for, for obvious reasons. This is the only time mm -hmm. I would have done that in the 200. However, I, I do believe if she shows up and, 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 and feels up to it, she, she definitely will win hands down. Um, second, I have Julian Alfred. I think she's in farm. She showed us the last 200. Gabby Carter just at the line. You know, and it took Gabby Assis's best as well. I think Julian Alfred um, is also poised if they give her the chance in the 200 to win it all. So I have Julian Alfred coming second, and, and I'll give Gabby the win here again. Yeah. Yeah, giving uh, and again we similar those picks um, oh, wow. because yeah. the reality <laughs> is for me, Sharika did an interview with Puma, and she said that there'll be no war record coming, which means that she's not thinking that she's as to fast as, as she fast. was last year. Right. If she's not fast as she was last year, she's that means she's in trouble. Mm -hmm. Because Gabby Thomas and, and um, Julian Alfred have shown mm -hmm. that once they are tapered, they're going to run really fast. fast yeah. So we're looking at times of maybe about 21.6. Right. You know, 21.5, 21.6. In that final. Yeah, in that final. If they do that, mm -hmm. I'm not sure Sherika is running to run 21.5. Agreed. You know, so, you know, that, that, that we are similar on it. But 200 <laughs> men, let me, let me start with the 200 men for me. Yes. I see third... Is um let me go back to my picks because I think third is gonna be for me right now uh -huh. the little young man called Let's Il Sebogo. Okay. Because okay. he has run really well so far this season yeah. and with a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna see sometimes like we probably saw back in twenty twelve. Yeah. When Bolt won in 1930 and Blake ran 1944 for second. Yeah. I think we'll probably see something similar. Cool, similar, yeah. So I think Toboga is going to probably run somewhere in the region of 19.5 or 19.4 high. Mm -hmm. I think this is where I am a little bit conflicted <laughs> because I think that Kenny Bigner has the ability to win. Yeah. And I think the experience that he's had at the U.S. trials where he came second, when Noah has caught him and ran 1953, he ran 1957. Mm -hmm. I think Kenny Bigner 
Noah has the experience to know what he needs to do in that last 30 meters. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going to go with Noah because Noah, I like Bolt. He owns the 200 now. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. that kind of confidence gives him <laughs> the opportunity to overcome any obstacle. And I think, so I think it's going to be close again. But mm -hmm. I think Noah Lyles win it, wins it, Kellen Bevner at second, Tobogo third. Okay, so I have the same three on the podium lane. However, that my order is different. I have Kenny Bednarik uh, third. Mm -hmm. I have Kenny third. And I have Noah Lyles second. Yeah, I, I, I believe after that 100, he's going to he's, he's gonna have to run from the semis. I think in the 100, I am more, more excited about the semis than even the final. Because uh, after the semis, you will be able to tell mm -hmm. hands down what is, is going to happen. What is what? So I think Noah has a lot too much work to do. He's going to go in his legs like he never did in the hundred, and it's going to affect his two hundred. However, I have let I, I have Tibogo winning the two hundred. Why? Because I think his his base his base conditioning is better than everyone else. So he'll be able to stand out to the rounds because of his yes because of that same thing you're talking about his three hundreds and his four hundreds early season. I think he's ready for for all six rounds. I'm more prepared than anyone else out there. So I, I give Tebogo the the, the, the the win in the 200. Yeah, but we're going to challenge you on one point on that. No problem. Tebogo, while he is, we know he's superiorly fast and we know he's very strong. Mm -hmm. But does he have the kind of experience that will take him through at very, what's going to be very two, three very intense rounds? Mm -hmm. At least two anyway, because the yeah. semifinal is going to be intense. Mm -hmm. And But no, we no, Noah has done that before. Yeah, not, not you know, so that experience I think might make a difference because mm -hmm. remember now, this year the two hundred is back to close to being where we saw it a few years ago with Yosin and company. Right. Not as fast, uh -huh. but certainly as in as in terms of competitiveness. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be close. So he Tebogo might be forced to run even faster in himself in a mm -hmm. semifinal. Mm -hmm. Does he do that and come back and run as fast to beat Noah Lyles in a final? But that's that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. he, I think he's prepared to do so. To, I think he's prepared to run fast. Um, in more rounds than anybody else, you know. So, so that is why I'm 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 going with him. And and he's shown signs. If you watch his races this year, Leighton, he has more in the tank. He has more in the tank. So we haven't seen him yet. And I think he's waiting on the right time. Uh, he should be inspired. You know, he lost his mom this this year. So yeah. he should be inspired to go out there and just do, you know, just do um his best. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Let's see. Um, yeah. Four hundred meter woman. This is one event that I'm Ooh. excited about. Very <laughs> excited about because a Jamaican woman has never won this event at the Olympic Games before. All right. They've got bronze medals, they've got silver medals, they've never won a gold. So you want to start it or me to start it? Well, they use that. <laughs> 400 meter woman. I have Kazmarek, the European champion. I have, I have her third. Um, having a great season so far, probably our best season mm -hmm. so far. Um, second, I have Paulinho. Uh, it's, it's tough to, to, to bet against this girl, but. I think I think uh, we have you know the weaponry. So Paulie and I have second, and our national champion Nikisha Price. I have her winning the event. This is where she announces herself now. She has been showing signs, you know, since last year. Even you made me go do some research, you know, on some of her races. And I think she's ready. You know, the NCA champion, our national champion, and I think she will end her season being the Olympic champion. Olympic champion. champion. You know, she's running super fast. I think she's ready. Top three for me is similar, but mm -hmm. different order. Mm -hmm. I think Paulina gets silver. Why? Yeah. Kazmarek, I think, ran her best race. I ran 48, 98 at the European Championships. And I, I know that was some weeks ago, and she yeah. would, probably would have improved. Yeah. But I think Paulina's superior speed. Yeah. And Paulina's, Paulina has gone 48, 70, so she knows what it feels like to get there. Mm -hmm. That's two, almost three tenths of a second faster than Kazmarek has ever run. Yeah. So I think Paul, you know, gets silver for me. That but I, I think based on what Chris Johnson told me that Nikisha hasn't peaked yet when I spoke to him in early June. Wow. And to see him That's her, her coach. Yeah, that's her coach. And it, when she came to the national championship, she really literally cruised through the rounds. Fifty point zero one. Yeah. Tells you that she wasn't worried about anybody there. Wow. But then London Diamond League, forty eight fifty seven, looking comfortable. And as I said before, I spoke to a number of coaches who said that her last 150 is probably the best they've seen in recent times. I agree. That, for me, tells me that she's ready to run fast. And one of the things that I, 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 I talk about all the time is the fact that her, the, her volume training mm -hmm. at 60 to 70% of her heart rate, I mean, look at how comfortable she looks. Even after 250, 
when your legs start to tire, when the beer starts to position itself to jump yeah, on your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks very, very, very comfortable. Indeed. And that relaxation, I think, makes the difference for me with her and previous Jamaican women running. And But you know, the funny thing about it, let me just put one caveat again in there. <laughs> yeah. Kazmarek uh -huh. might not be third. Mm. Because there's a young lady from Barbados who co trains here in Jamaica by yes. the name of Shadi Williams. That's always right. Who ready I believe at this time. is going to run 48 this year. But I put Kazmarek because I've seen Kazmarek run 48. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Shadi do it. Mm -hmm. And to then make that jump from 49.7 to 48 is a big jump. Yeah. But it's very possible. And given what we know, what she's been able to do over the years under the guidance of the MVP coaching camp, mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past her. So I have. Let's say Kazmarek slash Shade Williams for third for me. Mm -hmm. And of course, Paulina and Nikisha Price as champions. Crazy to hear you said that her coach said she didn't peak yet. Yeah, it, 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 it boggles my mind too because <laughs> when you run 48, 89 in June That's and crazy. your coach says you're not peaked yet, it, wow. it, it speaks to where you potentially could go. And I think if, if his words are correct, which we actually have seen evidence of it at the 48, 57, mm -hmm. The, the Olympic record, which I think is 48-24, could be on the jeopardy. Wow. You know, and so crazy to think, you know, Crazy to think about that. All right. The I men. Can I give you my picks? Yeah, for yeah. the men. Uh, talk to all me. All right. This, this, this might, you know, <laughs> not sit well with you. Well, not sit well, but hey. So I have Quincy Hall or Kirani James, you know. Mm -hmm. um, now, third place can, it's, pass, it's, it's who come, shows up on the day. Mm -hmm. You know, there are more names we can't we can even mention. However, I have Quincy Hall or Kirani James, you know, um, battling it out for, for a third. I have the, the, the world leader, Matt Hudson Smith, you know, for, for the silver, you know, and I went with experience for, for, for the gold medal, which is Stephen Gardner from the Bahamas. Stephen Gardner, when he shows up and, and completes a race here, he doesn't lose. Not since 2017. Right, he, do, he doesn't <laughs> lose. You know, so so that's 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 my 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 reason for going with him. People, these are just predictions. These are just speculations. These are not written in stone. People, and don't come for me. But <laughs> I have Stephen Gardner, you know, winning winning this event. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, um, like you, I mean, I had a conversation with Jehu Gardner this week, and yeah. he convinced me for a moment that mm. Matthew Hutchinson Smith is winning the gold medal. Mm. But when I sat down and thought about it. 4874 is, is, I think, is faster than Stevens ever run. Huh? Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is this. Not since the 2017 semifinal in London, mm -hmm. as Stephen Gardner lost a 400-meter race as he's I'm completed. Telling you, I'm telling you. 4874 in one race is fine. Mm -hmm. Going three rounds, can he replicate that? On the highest level? At the highest level. Yes. So I'm thinking that Stephen Gardner has done it before. Mm -hmm. Last Olympics, I think it was 48, 43, 85. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, the, that, yeah. So he knows what it is like to get there after three rounds of competition. Yes. So I'm picking him to win again. Yes, um, so him, Matthew Hudson Smith, and I'm picking Michael Norman, mm. the 2019 world champion, yeah. to come for the bronze. Why? Yeah. I think Michael Norman has gone through three very difficult years. Since yeah, this dues. Well, two difficult two years since he won the title in 2022 in Oregon. Mm -hmm. He's not on home soil anymore. But I think the fact that he's back this year, mm -hmm. he was third at the U.S. trials. Mm -hmm. But I think the experience that he has now and the determination to prove himself mm -hmm. will make the difference. So I think him, he'll finish third. I think Hudson Smith gets second. And I mm -hmm. think the, the imperious <laughs> Stephen Gardner yes. wins the, the gold medal and defends his Olympic title. Wow, yes. Yes, you know? indeed. Yeah. So let's jump through because we're rapidly running out of time. But um, Women's four hurdle. The women's four hurdles is uh -huh. going to be wild. That should be quick. I mean, I'm thinking that um, yeah. Russia Clayton gets the bronze. She's yeah. the best of the rest, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think Femke Ball, as much as she's improved this year, mm -hmm. will push Sydney McLaughlin, but she won't push her enough. Mm -hmm. Because I think Sydney McLaughlin is that much. I, remember, we had this conversation where I think, I think Sydney is closer to her ceiling mm -hmm. than Femke. Yes. But... I think you're still learning the event yes, the yes, way yes. she should to yes. get to that level. Yes. But I think Sydney is more comfort at that where she uh, is. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference, and I think she wins. But mm -hmm. that's, that's an easy pick for Identical me. Identical pick. You know, mm -hmm. um, as I said, I, I even pointed out to me that um, 
Femke was learning and, and adjusting her strides in between. So she might need a little more time to, to you know to perfect that. However, I do believe she will push, you know, Sydney to to, to yeah, run. I, I think we'll see two fifty point races there. That's and that's crazy to think. Yeah. Fifty two was an elite club one time Leighton. Like, what elite? What, what, long what ago? is this? What are we seeing now? <laughs> like fifty points. It's madness, man. Two people in one race, fifty yep. points? That's crazy. Fifty points. And I think Russell Clayton runs fifty two two. That's what I see. Wow. Or 52, 51 at trials tells me that she's capable of running much lots but faster. But how do you run 52, 2? And they're only third? Boss man, 52, 2 would have won any other so Olympics many championships. in the last few years. <laughs> so many championships. <laughs> but then Ken Sydney. But that's what it is. But <laughs> the men's race, I think, is going to be incredible, too. Uh -huh. But you have an interesting pick. I want to jump first. Because you, you want to go first? Yeah, yeah, you have an interesting and pick. And I'll explain. Yeah. Now, the, honestly, the top three is, is tough to, to break up. You know, the top three is tough to break up, but I have I have our Jamaican doing so. I think in the top three, the Dos Santos is probably the weakest link. I think he, I, I'm hoping that he makes a mistake and James King will be able to take advantage because, you know, James King's finish. So I'm hoping Dos Santos tries to do too much and, and makes a mistake and James King will capitalize and get the bronze. So I have James King. For my bronze pick, um, I have Ryan Benjamin second. Why? I believe the Viking is going to go out like a bat out of hell and get it right this time, not hit the 10th hurdle and, and is able to finish mm. and win the Olympic gold. So, honestly, it's hard to, 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 to give that. But if it was anybody else, I wouldn't give them the win over Ryan Benjamin the way he's running this year. But I think the Viking will, will, will come out the right time and get it done. I have it in a different order. <laughs> I'm going to start with fourth and fifth. I don't think you have James King in your time. No, I'm going to go with fourth and fifth. I think, okay. I think Jamaica, the Jamaicans rush on clock and Ma Malik James King get fourth and fifth. Okay. That's what I think. Okay, good. I yeah. think one of them will probably run a new national record. Yes. Which is, the national record is 47-34. The race will be fast. Yeah, the race will be fast. Uh -huh. So I think somebody, one of those two are going to run 47-1 mm -hmm. <coughs> or 40 and 47-3 mm -hmm. for fourth and fifth. Yeah. But I do think Ray Benjamin wins it. Why? Because previously, mm -hmm. the Viking was Vulnerable. invincible. Yeah. But so far this year, he's lost twice. Yeah. It, that, for me, opens the door for a Red Benjamin who's gone 46-46 this season mm -hmm. to take gold and stop being the bridesmaid for once in a while for the, uh, for the last few years when he was expected to win. Yeah. And that he was running, to be fair, he was running with injuries as well. Yeah. So I think... Mar I think he gets it done. I think year. he gets it done this time. I mm -hmm. think Varholm just manages to hold up the Santos. Mm -hmm. But I think all three run under 47 seconds. That's crazy. And <laughs> so that's my p top three. So, here so, in the, so both four hurdles is just out of this world. It's it's gonna, it's, it's they're going to be my events for the, for the, for the, for the, for the Olympic Games. Because I think crazy. that event for me is probably the most exciting event. Mm -hmm. Outside of the 100 meter sprint that everybody used, uh, uh, used to. Totally I think I agree. both of those events are going to be off the chain. Mad madness when it, when it comes time wise. Yep. So let's jump to the other, the other hurdles event, which I think I'm very excited Sprint about. Sprint hurdles, as well. definitely. Um, let's start with the women. Okay, so for me, I have um, Alicia Johnson of the USA third, Russell second of the USA, and I have to give Ak Akira. I think Akira looks so good this year. Um, she looks fast. She looks fast. She looks like she, she, she could, she could um, run a leg on the four by one. She looks super fast this year. I'm hoping that doesn't hamper her because, you know, the faster you get, you know, it, the hurdles yes, get close fast. The, the hurdles come to you, you know, that much faster. So, but I believe, you know, um, Akira is ready and, and I give her the gold. Yep. I give Akira the gold. I give Alicia Johnson the silver medal. Mm -hmm. And I have Jasmine Camacho Quinn. Mm. as a bronze medalist. Why? Jasmine is... Miss Reliable. Very reliable. <laughs> she's like, she's the, gym, she's the Puerto Rican version of Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Indeed. And while a lot of women are running faster than her this year, because I think she's in the top seven, but not in the top three like she's used to being, mm -hmm. I think she will find the way to get onto that podium, notwithstanding the quality that we've seen from the Americans, not notwithstanding we've seen the quality from the Jamaicans, um, mm -hmm. and of course, Toby Amazon. Mm. But I think Jasmine has a way of finding ways to be on the podium, even when she's not at her best. True, I think, true. you know, she's run a number 12 fours this year, but in an Olympic final, mm -hmm. I think the experience and the self-belief is something that is, for her, she's very Important. unflappable. 
-hmm. And I think she goes into that final and, and is healthy. I think she's on the podium. So I'm thinking that she gets third. Yeah. I think Aki I like you. I think Akira wins. And I think Alicia Johnson. Because I think Masai Russell, in circumstances where she's under pressure from all sides, mm -hmm. notwithstanding what we saw at the US trials, because she's used to beating those people. That's true. That's but when true. she's up against the international elite, mm -hmm. I think she'll fumble. And, and I would think, think that it's above the world record holders head this year. Um, Toby hasn't shown me that this year that she's ready to run that fast again. But true. I don't know. I, you know, with the coach that she has, we know who her coach is. You know, I think she could be a factor. But I, I do the top three who I, I thought long and hard about it. Mm -hmm. I think Toby probably comes third, or fourth, or fifth. It's going to be a battle between she and Devin Charlton and Masai Russell for those next three spots. Give me a time, Liam. Give me a time for the winner. Twelve seventeen. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. That's what I think. Crazy. Twelve seventeen. Twelve twenty something. 12.22 second, 12.23, wow, or 12.24 third. That's, that's how I visualize it. Crazy. For the men, though, mm -hmm. I see where you have a Jamaican one, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to me. So I have Grant Holloway third. Um, I, I believe, you know, the two Jamaicans, the experienced, the more experienced Jamaicans, I should say, um, gets the better of him again, you know, at the Olympics. I, I do have, though, Hans Parchment, second. Um, Rashid Broadwell, I believe, at this stage, he has unfinished business, and I think he's so super focused where that is concerned. And I'm going to give him the win, you know, um, you know, with, with that in consideration. So I have Rashid Broadwell first, Hans Parchment second, and, and um, Grant Holloway third. Here is how I see it. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I, think, I don't think uh, Rashid has had enough races this year. Mm -hmm. So I can't give him the win. Mm -hmm. I've seen Grant run 12.86 or 12.8 something this year. Mm -hmm. I've seen him run consistently fast. I know when he's up against the Jamaicans, he knows they're coming. Mm -hmm. Which is the reason why it's hard for me to say he's going to win. But based on what I've seen from him this season, mm -hmm. I think he will. I think Rashid comes second because I think Rashid hasn't raced enough this year. Mm -hmm. um, I know he had some flu issues um, so he didn't race a couple of times when he should have. Yeah. And I think he just will finally catch up with Hansel. Okay. So, but I'm picking him to come third primarily because when Hansel, when Hansel puts on the Jamaican gear and steps into Olympic space, mm -hmm. he brings out a side of him that we've not seen all year. No matter how poor he races all season, mm -hmm. he brings that fire in the finals. And that's, so I think Hansel comes third, I think Broadwell second. And notwithstanding what the Americans are, like Crittenden and others are doing, mm -hmm. but I think those two Jamaicans are on the podium, and I think, but I think Holloway wins his first Olympic title. In regards to Holloway, as, I, as you've mentioned to you know, Leighton, he's going to expect the Jamaican. When he hits the sixth hurdle, he's going to expect the Jamaicans to be rushing forward, and I think that will get the better of him again. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is why I, I give the Jamaicans. And as I said, Brad Bell, you know, he, he, he has unfinished business. He, I know he's hungry, and he won. He got the better of Hansel at our national triumph. It was very close. Yeah. Though. So, so even with, you know, the, the, the little bit amount of races, it was very close still. So I believe he can get it done at when, and this time around. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I just think, I think, I think Rashid is one cycle away from being Olympic champion. Yes. He's already Commonwealth champion. He's had two mishaps at the World Championships. Yeah. But I think he finds redemption with a silver medal this time around with going into the cycle, the next Olympic cycle, I think he'll be ready to win the gold medal. I can live with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but it, it, it's going to be crazy, but it's gonna, I think it's going to be really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, we, are, we have we'll go to seconds left. Let's go to those. Let's go to jump. Sprint relays? Yeah, uh, no, I'm not touching the, the jumps. The jumps, because I think there are some wonderful opportunities for Caribbean athletes in the jumps. Definitely. Where do you want to start? Um, so I'll start with the, the triple jump. Um, I think the other fund, mm -hmm. world indoor title, 1501, mm -hmm. I think she's shown this year that she you know has broken through to that level where she believes she can win it all. Yeah. But I do believe that Marina Beck Romanchuk wins the gold because mm -hmm. this woman every single time competitor <laughs> she comes into a, a major championship, she brings her best. Yeah. And not not this is not to diminish what Tia is able to do. Mm -hmm. But historically, Marina has jumped farther than than Thea has, and I think she brings it out at the Olympics. I think Thea gets the silver, mm -hmm. and I'm hopeful 
that Shanika gets the bronze. Why? Yeah. This is a sentimental pick for me because um, Leonis Perez Hernandez from Cuba is dangerous. Mm -hmm. But I think Sir, um, Shanika has jumped consistently well over the last half a decade mm -hmm. not to come away with an Olympic medal. Right. And I think what we've seen from Kerry Lee over the years, he always uh, gets her to her best in the major championships. Mm -hmm. The last time she finished fourth, at this, I think this time she missed one step further mm -hmm. and as is on the bronze medal on the table. That, so I, I give Shanika the, the, the bronze you know, for the last point that you made, Kerry Lee Ricketts, her coach, her husband, he gets her you know, ready for, for these moments and I, and I think they, they'll get it done. There's a slow, it's, 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 it's mere centimeters latent, you know, millimeters or, or so that, that separates a whole host of them. I have Perez Hernandez second, as I said, dangerous competitor, very dangerous. And I think Lafond, as 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 I say, you know, as matured now, and and will get it done this year for the gold. So I have Lafond mm -hmm. um, for the gold, Perez Hernandez second, and and our Jamaican Shanika Ricketts third. Um, and we're only saying this because we know Rojas is not. Yeah, <laughs> out. yeah because Rojas, Rojas is, out. is out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But the world champion, it's, it's to show you, like, some of these, regardless of how good you are, you know, so some of these events, especially the pit and the ring, you have to show up on the day. Yeah. You know, and, and it's mere centimeters that separate difference. you. So, you know, it, it's one of those unpredictable events. You know, it's, it's just who show up on the day. But th that, that, that's my top three. Well, my top three in the main is, 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 uh, Part of it is sentimental, but p part of it is also what I know of mm -hmm. the, the, the young man who I'm about to mention. Yeah, I think Jaden Hibbert win the triple jump. I think he jumps 80 meters and change. Yeah, I think Pablo Picardo picks up the silver, mm -hmm. and I think Zango, yeah. Jules Fabrice Zango, mm -hmm. who won last year in Budapest, gets yeah. the bronze. Yeah. I think last year Picardo was wasn't at his best. He wasn't mm -hmm. there. Of course, we know Jaden picked up that hamstring injury in his first round on the first jump of the final. Mm -hmm. And I think that has fired him up enough. Mm -hmm. He comes in this time a little bit hungrier. Mm -hmm. And I think the work that Travis Duffert would have done with him to prepare him for this moment, mm -hmm. and he's going to grab it with both hands. We've seen him do it multiple times. World Under 20, we've seen it do it at every, every, at every step of the way mm -hmm. that Jaden Hibbert has been given an opportunity to be at his best. Mm -hmm. He takes it, he grabs it with both hands. Mm -hmm. The only time was the injury last year, which he said impacted him significantly. Mm -hmm. I think he finds redem redemption in, in Paris this summer. Yeah, we have similar um, first and second in this event. However, I have Diaz for third. 18 meters late, not 18 meters. Yeah, but... You know, so it's tough. I, I understand. Mm. No, to, uh, I understand why you'd pick Zango. I've, I've seen Zango. I want to tell you, I might trust Zango more as a competitor. Mm. You know, but 18 meters, that, that, that muscle memory, you know, is, 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 that's, that's why I have, you know, Diaz for third. Mm. Mm. Well, that's why, they, that's why they do the races. That's, that's why, why they do the jumps. There, that's why you have to go you know, there. Because day. it's crazy. It's going to be absolute madness. Ooh. You know, what are your thoughts? What, what are you thinking? Who are you mm -hmm. thinking are going to be the winners in Paris when, once track and field gets started this Saturday? Mm -hmm. Of course, stay tuned. Of course, Sports Max is going to be carrying the, the everything. And of course, we'll be looking forward to that. And of course, we'll be talking more about it next week. So, mm -hmm. well, you know, we're out of time. We have to go. Mm -hmm. But if there's an opportunity to give you some other picks before the games, then we will do that. But until then, enjoy the spectacle. And until next week, when we'll be coming back to you straight out of the blocks. On behalf of D Major, I'm Leighton Levy. And goodbye and enjoy the track and field. It's going to be wild. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, Friendship share, subscribe. subscribe. Like, comment, <laughs> share, subscribe. I didn't get the message. So. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.